Lane Thomas hasn't faced him before, but he likes lefties. And he'll take strike one. Coming off a real nice win. The ball. Two doubles, a triple, and a home run in that series. And a check swing. It's now 0-2. Down and away with the change for the strikeout. Now, this is this sounds so. Got to get your timing down on deck before you get in there. Gabriel Ruiz broke in with Jules, August 16th of that year. Last year, before the Nats got him, he played in only six games with the Dodgers in the city before the trade was made. Oh my! Look at that changeup. Yep, and you're going to see a ton of them. Go off the first pump. <laughs> After the Nets got on the side, let's get that timing down. Play. Ruiz waiting on it and not hit far enough to drop into left. Trey Turner has it. And on the four, one for six. With a pair of walks. The lefties. Occasional purple. Now as the count goes. Way inside two and one. Oh, oh. Soto fights one off. This ball flirting with the left field line and Taylor who can play anywhere. Maybe saying that his favorite part of the 2019 World Series team was just how much fun that club had celebrating their wins. He said it didn't matter if it was postseason wins regular Trey kind of downplaying coming back here to Nationals Park noting how much of the Nationals roster has changed but he caught up with no so well. Yes quite a trade that was by Mike Rizzo. With Trey and Joe Ross coming from Dan and Daniel Hudson got the save. It's only fitting. Pretty good battle here by Nelly Cruz, who's sitting 314 now over his last two weeks. So the next Hudson, of course, went to San Diego, but then the Dodgers picked him up. The Nets won their two balls, two strikes. Cruz staying with it, but the off speed really slowed down his bat. And over to get it, Mookie Betts. That's four straight for Tyler Anderson. Home run in the. And now Bell reaching out for an off speed pitch. Over by the barrier. And that one. Josh got. He almost did. Josh Bell was in a rough week under it. Out to center, Cody Bellinger. Five in a row for Anderson to start his night. See if the lefty can keep that front shoulder in there. Over his last seven games, Yadiel. We're 21, sorry. <laughs> Even 31. Just a breeze coming down Half Street. Yadiel on that one, down and away, had a. The young catcher, Yadiel. Josh and Soto, as you would expect. And Anderson was ready to walk to his dugout. He thought he had the inning pitch before, fouled it off. They go hard in. Target outside edge here. And uh, sword like fashion for the strikeout. Six straight for Anderson. He's got at bats against Tyler Anderson. Michael, three for 10 with a homer, three RB. One one. He took him in the draft out of the University of Oregon. Franco turns a little too soon and slams it into the screen. Into that. Yep. Ball fading away from him. And Franco bumped it to the pitcher. Seven straight against the lefty. Down and away. That's the sword right there. And then the fastball looks like it's 95. Got the outside edge at 90. Now 
Messi to Escobar. Better. Target in. Got it to the inner half. Walker Bueller out there tomorrow night against Josiah Gray. Eric Fetty and Julio Arias in the day game on Thursday. It could be a tough series in which. Teddy still over for the year. And the Nats are 5 and 15 at home, just saying. Not swinging first time. Another off speed pitch out ahead of it. And this is Max Muncie. Masterful first 10 hitters for Tyler. There has been nothing centered on the sweet spot of a Nats bat. There's a jam shot right to Trey Turner. One out about a on about a 30 home run pace now. But the RBI pace not keeping up with that did knock in two yesterday. A lot of center cut fastballs in the last two three innings. Soto jammed again. This is similar to the first at bat. Turner will run that down in foul stops. Here's Nelson Cruz, bottom of the fifth. And that ball's going to hang up for Taylor and left on the first pitch. And oftentimes, a ball game like this will work in the pitcher's favor. If you look at team against lefty changeup splits some off speed with only one extra base hit yeah then he humps up the 91 after he sets hitters up His chance of breaking up the perfect game pretty good pitch just missed a good cutter right there Muncie on the grass at third off contact that he gets something to reach off the end of the bat yeah and maybe enhancing Yadiel's chances of hips That one is right at Gavin Lux. And now Tyler Anderson, the perfect through five. Here in a second. Well, he extended his hitting streak, so he's good. Franco roasting one out to center. Back and back is Bellinger, and he's got it 390 feet away. Right off the end of the bat of. Anderson has one career complete game. Now if it was. That ball heading out to deep left center. Bellinger can only watch it. And with authority, Cesar Hernandez ends Anderson's quest for a perfect game. I've been asking for. And this one will fall into center. Hernandez checking it out over his right shoulder to be sure. First and third, one out. Up the middle. A running double play attempted and converted by the defensive replacement. Tom slash tickets. Bottom of the seventh. Gabriel Ruiz line. He gives you that big grunt and then he throws it 78. Just continues to throw gave her that that change so up and away to even things up even this catcher was out out ahead cut off by the third baseman Max Muncie 
Fly balls twice once to left Taylor caught it once foul to the left side Turner caught it. And there's that random on the sinker. That'll be a cold strike out of the slider. <laughs> and he waits on it and drills the 88 up the middle. I'm going to say, let's bookmark that ball right there. That. I'd pay for my own pitch com to hear this conversation. Well, they're not in the same division anymore. Indeed. Did you see the hug between Davey Martinez and Freddie? Different swings, but the approach. Middle of the other way is so. Cruz high in the air out to center. And when it comes down, Cody Bellinger is there. Hey, can hit with them right there, and he's saying, no more pressure on you. You see that? Just five. Yeah, I'm still having a hard time believing how that whole Atlanta thing shook out. Yeah. He's getting into this. Nice job by Josh Bell of serving one to right. Now Freddie can talk to our first baseman. Well, he can do that too. Great piece right there by pumping up Juan Soto right there. That's what I, can, I, I, I feel. I love it. Fact. I stopped by Freddie's locker. I said, are we okay? <laughs> he said, yeah, you said nice things. I appreciate it. <laughs> and that's Freddie Freeman. On a one hopper to Taylor, Yadiel Hernandez has a base hit. And the Nats with three of their five hit out, but it was it was the precursor to some good things happening. Owen oh, two now. That was close. That was close. That was a great, great reception right. Franco and Freddie Freeman takes away two runs from the net. Kimbrel. In on the hands on Cesar, who for ERA. Just six. Seeing that pitch a little bit better. And he pulls one foul. Home run distance for a guy who hit a career best 18 last. And then 18 for Cleveland last year. And actually hit three more when he went to the White Sox. So 21 on the season. Just a lot of games in a span of five, six. Down and away with the change. That's his first strikeout since the fifth night. And a reminder if you're either planning on watching or attending. On Wednesday, that's a 4 0 One thing we know about him is he's not scared. Man, they know plenty about it. Yeah. Not to try to do too much. With his poise, nothing seems to bother him out there. There's another off speed strikeout number seven prep that he does. The behind the scenes. They had a pretty good oh, yeah. go about things. Trying to turn an over into a one for four here. Jammed. 
Aldridge. Phil Bickford is warming up a right-hander. But on 101. <laughs>